Big it, look at that big it. Good morning, everybody. I'm walking to the boat ramp right now. Got you a couple Joe. Doing a little fall chinook salmon fishing today. Meeting up with frugal fishing fundamentals. And uh, yeah, we're gonna fish some wobblers maybe. Um, start off trolling, I think. Fish spinner, Simon. Also, uh, throw that on a pro troll. Probably be fishing Brad super baits, some tuna. We will see. Maybe I'll do a little how to, how to catch false chinook. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, stay tuned guys, should be fun. Another beat. 
Yeah. So I am running the Akuma Salilo. It is a nine foot rod and it is medium heavy. The, the tip has great action. You really see it in your Pro Trolls. Um, I recommend this rod because it's definitely affordable. It's like 50 or 60 bucks at Fisherman's. And I bought the Akuma Cold Water reel to go with it. This is also a really great reel. I cut a couple springers on this, um, this rod uh, this spring. And it's great because it's got plenty of backbone to, to get that hook into that fish. And it's got nice action at the tip. Like it really is a good rod. Um, I recommend it for people who are just getting started in salmon fishing. It's affordable, but all you need. So it's a nice rod right here. Standing up your lures, your spinners, or your super baits, the tuna, and the belly. Um, I'm going with a gel scent that I'm going to put on the hooks. I don't want to put it on this rubber part right here or on the blade because it can affect the action or the color. Now, I like throwing bloody tuna on my stuff, or, and Mike likes throwing sand shrimp, vice versa. Sometimes we just we, we switch it up. But today, I'm going to put some krill on, some gel, and just put it on the hooks. That way it doesn't affect the color or the action of this blade. And, and today there were there was, there was a boat, a huge boat down here that was catching them with watermelon and bronze. And he doesn't want to affect the color of the bronze and the watermelon. So he's just putting it on his hook. Okay, he's throwing spinners. Just throw that on there, rub it in a little bit. Keep it off this because this is red, you know, it's going to affect the color of that. So that's, that's what I do. And Mike does the same thing. All right, guys, letting line out. I got Pro Troll and a spinner on. Short leaders, two foot leader. That way the, uh, the spinner is affected by the Pro Troll. And Mike is gonna throw a super bait on with some tuna. Now we're just gonna be trolling right next to the bottom, right there in the strike zone. And uh, hopefully we get on some fish.